So your mom and dad got married right in here? Got married in this house and it was in July and to hear my dad tell it, it was at least 110 in the shade. <laughs> and uh, grandma had their relatives for the reception. They went, they went to the pastor's um, parish office to get married uh -huh. and came back here then for the little reception to sit around in the kitchen and uh, grandma had made all the things they always made in those days for dinner, you know, the fried chicken, the mashed potatoes, and the, all the stuff that went with it, and the lefsa and everything. And they're all sitting there sweating, you know, <laughs> <laughs> eating this meal. And then it was time for them to go on their honeymoon. So uh -huh. they were about, oh, let's see, probably about 50 miles from the lake that they were going to go to for their honeymoon. Uh -huh. In their old, I'm not sure if it was a Model A that my dad had. But anyway, um, he filled the back with five gallon pails of water then because it was so hot they had to stop about every 10 miles to pour the water <laughs> into the radiator, you know. But they made it. Uh -huh. So that's how they started and they... They lived in a big house to start out with, didn't they? Well, to start out with, they lived in a tiny little shack about... Uh, <laughs> Just across the field, I across think. Across the field, I think. And uh, was in the depression, of course. And so didn't have any money, and um, the wind used to blow through the cracks in the walls and build little snow banks in the living room, and, <laughs> and uh, it was it sounded pretty, you know, severe. And my dad was a smoker, and he would sit and smoke and watch the smoke waves go right out through the wall <laughs> into the <laughs> out into the outside. So, yeah, that was their... Well, he gave the boys, a young, like my dad and the young boys, he gave them a cigar to go out and smoke that. So maybe one of his extra cigars. Yeah, yeah. So they said they went out in the woods here and smoked on the wedding day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, my dad lived to be 92, and he smoked up until the day before he died. <laughs> so I can see him inviting the the brother, little brothers in law out for a cigar. <laughs> Oh, yeah.